Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. It's Monday morning, which means we have a weekend full of orders to go through. Yeah, it's kind of the usual Monday morning thing. And what we're going to do today, we're going to walk through and we're going to pull all the orders. Uh, we're going to get them off the shelf. We're going to go through these doors into the garage and get some stuff that I have stored out there. Got a bunch of things to sell. It was a fantastic weekend. I think I did over $1,100 this weekend. A couple of really big sales, some sports card sales, some toy sales, some items that I just listed on Friday sold over the weekend. So let's get going. All right, so we're gonna pull all the orders and we also gotta announce the winner for the contest. How much did Mike spend at Goodwill last month? We had some good entries out there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about that. We got the prizes right here. So I'll announce that at the end of the video. Yep, you gotta watch the whole thing to get to the end to find out if you won or not. Hopefully you got your entries in. I think there's, I don't know, 12, 15 entries, something like that. So good luck to all of you. If you didn't get in, well, you, you lose because you're not going to get any free stuff. You got to enter the drawing to have a chance to win some stuff. So let's get started. Let's uh, go through these orders. So yeah, let's flip this camera around and we're going to get going on things. All right, here we are on my order page. You can see right now there's 26 orders for 1166, but these last two orders came in this morning, so they're not part of the weekend sales. Already off to a good start for today. We have a 30 and a $15 sale, but we're gonna scroll down a little bit. We're gonna go to this one here, Game Informer Magazines. Now, if you haven't pulled orders with me before, we're gonna do a lot of spinning around, and hopefully I don't get you too dizzy. We're gonna put all the orders here as we pull them. We gotta go out this door and uh, get to all the inventory out here. Again, if you haven't watched this before, I got to go out into the garage. It's very dark out here. So what we're going to do is open the garage door so we can see over here where all my inventory and my mess is. It's kind of a disaster out here right now. Actually, I shouldn't say that. It's been worse. I just need to straighten up a little bit. But what we're getting is actually right here. So it's not too hard. These are Game Informer magazines. If you watched my video last week, I went to the local auction, had a good little haul there. And this was the first time to sell. I listed these on Friday. I think there's like 30 some of these Game Informer magazines. These are all from like 2009 to 2015, somewhere in there. Just lotted them all together. And I saw that they were going for anywhere between 50 cents to a dollar per magazine. Again, there's 35 of them. And I believe the price was 30 bucks plus shipping. So let's grab the stack. It's going to be really heavy for one hand. Yeah, that's all of them. We're going to go back inside. All right, so we're walking back in here first item on the desk is a heavy one but that's going to be the heaviest order that we have to ship out today we're going to keep going down the list actually we got to walk back outside because uh there is some uh, more baseballs i'm not going to show you me going through the door every time but i'll show you where i stored the items All right if i believe correctly that the item i need is right back here yep six national league baseballs i already have them all in this bag and i put this into a padded flat rate mailer it'll ship out for like eight dollars actually it's a little less than eight dollars uh i think i sent an offer for these i think the six of these balls went for 25 bucks plus shipping added that to the stack we'll go back to the screen we got to get thor this loose funko pop and luckily for you we just gotta spin around and my storage shelf these shelves are getting pretty full and luckily, we're taking a bunch of stuff off these shelves today. So first up, Thor is right up here. This little loose pop figure. Yeah, even as a loose figure, this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. If it was new in the box, probably $30 to $35, bucks, but still $20 bucks for a loose one is pretty good. Now we're going to look at the screen again. I know the screen's a little blurry when I do this, but I sold a bunch of cards at auction. These are all vintage non-sport cards from the, like, the 50s and 40s. So they're pretty cool spin around and i think i have them all stacked up over here i just got to get them and figure out which ones are which see a bunch of them here there's a few different lots let me separate them first one to sell was the 1941 war gum trading cards and this this is this stack here not all of them though the reason i know is because some of these were trimmed you see how these don't have any border on them to make these cards a nicer condition they should basically look like this with a white border around the edge, but somebody trimmed them all off. Uh, still pretty decent. I think I got $9.50 for a lot of 16 of them. So that's the first one. Next is from 1953. And they are these like celebrity cards or actors. Uh, I don't really know, I think, but one of these guys, Brian Donnelly. 
Scott Brady, some Western guy. Jane Powell, I've heard that name before. Vera Ellen, these are really cool. These ones are actually pretty decent shape. Walter, Walter Pigeon. And the last one, we got Slim Pickens. I've heard of Slim Pickens before. So this little lot of six went for $5.50. And then we have this little lot here. These are trains. And this is from a set called 1955 Tops Rails and Sails. So it was all uh, trains and different sort of boats or ships. Had five of these. And I think each one of them had like a thumbtack hole. You can see right there in them. So they were not great condition. This went for $3 plus shipping for the five of those. And again, these were all through auction. I did sell some more, but they haven't been paid for yet. Uh, these ones here. Next on the list, we got a couple football helmets. Spin around. Happy to get some of these out of there because these, I've just started balancing things on top of each other. I don't like doing that. So we had somebody buy the Atlanta Falcons and they also bought the Arizona Cardinals. And I comboed the two of these together. We made a deal. $30 shipped for the two of these helmets. And that's what I had them at. I had them at 15 bucks plus shipping. He just asked if he took them both if I would pay for the shipping. And yeah, that's fine. So we went ahead and did that. 30 bucks free shipping. Now let's go to the garage. We're going up to here. This is like my sporting goods shelf up here. So I have baseball gloves, softballs, tennis rackets, and it's this one here on top because I just listed this one. It's a head intelligence. And actually this racket ended up being new and unused. I was really surprised because the grip was not in good condition. So it looks like somebody may have gripped it and then just never used it. So the grip fell apart. This is actually going GSP to Australia. Just bought this Friday at the auction. I paid $3 for the box that this was in and it sold for $50 plus shipping GSP. I think he's paying almost $60 shipping through GSP to get it there. So he's paying over $100 for this racket, but it is a really nice uh, head brand racket. So we'll add the racket to uh, the pile here. So just quick on stuff that I got at the auction on Friday. I spent less than $60 at the auction. I already got $50 for this and $30 for those. So I've already got $80 back after fees and everything, I'm probably break even on everything from the auction and anything else that I sell there is a profit. So that's really good return on just uh, two items that I got and sold already over the weekend. Good, the next couple items that we just got to flip around over here for, get over to my graded cards, move a couple things out of the way. There's always stuff in the way on these shelves. Don't have enough room for all the inventory, but we got to get a couple cards out of here flip through here we got to look for 1979 Ozzy Smith rookie now this is only graded a five and this is just a, a good example that you don't have to have super high grades to have cards that are worth a lot these Ozzy Smith cards you can see it's a little bit off center uh, pushed that way a little bit and it's very typical for this Ozzy Smith card usually there's even less borders from that so this is actually a pretty well centered Ozzy Smith rookie I think I had it in my store for $60. Let me double check. I don't want to tell you the wrong price because I'm good at doing that. Uh, originally had it for $70 and I sent an offer for 60 plus shipping and they accepted. So really nice uh, graded card sale, but we got a better one. Flip around again. This one I got to shuffle back a little ways for. It's through the back here, get through the football. Got to look for basketball and it's this one here. PSA 10. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a Kevin Durant rookie card. This is one that I sent off for grading. Took, uh, you know, nearly a year to get it back. But definitely worth the wait on a lot of these. I got some good grades. This card here ahead of my store for, I think, 350 bucks. But I wanted to see if I could make a sale this weekend, and I did. I sent an offer for 295 plus another 5 bucks for shipping. So they're $300 all in for that. So two graded card sales, and uh, we got 360 bucks. That's pretty good. All right, you know where we're going? To the garage. Oh, and of course there's stuff in the way of this. This is a box that I just need to get rid of. It's an empty box. I need to get to this tote here. I've talked about it before. I don't really use totes for my inventory because I got a lot of shelves and a lot of good space, but I do for clothes and for hats. And I need to get a hat out of here. It's a Pittsburgh Pirates hat. And I believe it is this one right here. This is a fitted hat. It's a vintage new era hat pro model. Really good hat. Had it at my store for like 30 bucks, but it's been in there for quite a while. So I went ahead and sent on an offer for 18 bucks plus shipping and they accepted. Add the hat to the stack. Now we're going to another item that I sold from the auction and it's right here. I have a little shelf with some books and stuff on it. And it is this one here. I really didn't know that this was worth anything until I was doing my research. It's called the Golfer's Journal. Journal 
number one, summer 2017. And I guess this is like a Scotty Cameron publication. You can see it right there, Scotty Cameron. So this actually had some really good value and it sold again over the weekend, 30 bucks plus shipping. So again, from the auction, I paid 60 bucks. I got 30, 30 and 50 doing fantastic off my stuff from the auction and I don't even have it all listed yet. We're gonna twist around again, sold uh, another football helmet. So this is another Rydell mini helmet, clears out all of my uh, unautographed mini helmets. This one here, I believe sold for 12 bucks plus shipping. So about the same price as these, just uh, they paid for shipping on that one. Now we gotta go back out to the garage. We're going over here to the shelf where we keep some of the toys and everything. And I believe we peek around here. Yep, we sold this guy here. We sold this really cool Scooby-Doo monster truck. And I don't remember the price. I think I had it at $24.99. And I can't remember if I got a full price sale or if I sent out a 10% offer. Either way, got uh, 20, 25 bucks, somewhere in that range for this really cool monster jam. Look out for these monster jam, monster trucks. Got 25 for it. Right, next few items are all cards. And I'm hoping that the set that I'm looking for is up here. This one I keep a lot of the extra non-sport card sets that I've bought recently and, so, and I'm selling. So let me uh, put the put this camera down and uh, see if I can find I it. I found it, wasn't too hard. This is Garfield. Is this the whole set or do I have more than one set here? Nope, this is the whole set. Garfield and there are a hundred cards of Garfield in this set. That's what it looks like on the front. Get some little facts on the back. There's Odie. All right, not a real expensive set. This one sold for actually 15 bucks plus shipping. So not too bad on this one. And I'm gonna show you actually real quick how I ship these out. So I have these boxes here. This is what they come flat. This is a five by three by two box. I'm gonna fold it real quick. Here's the folded version of the box and it fits like a hundred card set almost perfectly. But because this is loose like this, I do one more thing before I get it packed up. So what I do is I take a piece of paper and I'm gonna wrap it around here and tape it and that's gonna keep all these cards together nice and tight so it uh, doesn't get loose during shipping. So that's what it looks like when it's done. So it's nice and wrapped in there. I'm gonna put it in here and I just put a little piece of bubble wrap or over the top to keep it from sliding around in there. And uh, they end up weighing around eight to nine ounces. Hopefully it's around eight because it saves you about another 75 cents in shipping. Once you get up to nine ounces, cost you a little more. So we're gonna ship that out, cost 15 bucks plus shipping. All right, more cards. We're gonna slide over here and it's right here on the shelf. We gotta move some card boxes out of the way because I sold the ones that are underneath here. There are three boxes of cards. We got North Carolina Tar Heels. This is from Panini. There's 80 cards in that box. We got the Florida Gator, same thing. This is an 80 card box. And then we got this one here. This has a little more. This is Stanford Cardinal. This one is packed. So this one's got 24 packs, eight per box. And the person bought all three of these. I don't remember the exact price. It's like 50 some dollars plus shipping. Uh, you'll see it on the screen. We're getting there. We got a few more items to go. We got another non-sport card set. And actually this one's gonna be over here. And this isn't normally where I keep them, but I had some of these sets get returned. This is another one of these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle card sets. Sales of these had slowed down. And I'm not sure why I was selling one of these almost every day, sometimes multiples each day, but sales have slowed down. First one that I've sold in several days sold for $17.99 plus shipping. And I'll do the exact same thing I did with that set. Put a little piece of uh, paper around it, ship it out in one of these boxes. More cards, flip around for some more cards. Going back to the graded card box. I was happy to sell another graded card, but this time it is an SGC graded card. And actually those are in this box. I got so many of them these days. And I'm not sure exactly where. I don't think I have these sorted the same way that I have these. Let me find it. All right, we got it. It's the great Eric Dickerson. This is a 1984 Topps rookie card. Graded in SGC 8, so it's not even a super high grade, but this card is like perfectly centered. And I think that's what the person likes about it. And the reason why I sent it in, hoping I was going to get a 9 on it. Fortunately, I only got an 8, but I still got uh, $40 plus shipping for this. I got two more cards. They're not graded cards. They are down here in my in-person autograph section. So let me pull this over, come over here and find the cards. They're both gonna be at the end because we got a W and a Y. I keep them in alphabetical order so it's easy for me to find. First one up, we have Bob Welch, 1987 Donruss card. There's his autograph, Bob Welch passed away a few years ago. And this card sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And with loose cards like this, 
I do send them out uh, eBay standard envelope for the 51 cents. As long as it's under 20 bucks, I'll send it out that way. And the next card, and the next card is only gonna be a couple people after this. I'm looking for Steve Yeager. It's this one right here. Also a player for the Dodgers, just like Bob Welch there. This one is an 83 Donruss. He's got a nice little signature there. This one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. And these went to actually different buyers. So we sold two different Dodgers autos to different people. All right, we got one, two, three, four orders to go. Two of them are in the garage and we're gonna go pull them both at the same time. Yeah, we're gonna get them both going through the garage door for the last time. We can say hello to the neighbors out there. We got kind of a cloudy, gloomy day outside. Let's go see what it looks like, which means it's really muggy out here. So you look, there's the Arizona sky, no sun today, it's all cloudy. But this is where we need to go. We need to go over to football helmets. Now, where is it back here? It's gonna be easy to see because of the color. Got stuff in the way always. So this football helmet here is a shut and it is looking like that inside. Pretty cool helmet. And just in case you wanna check the sizes, they put them right there, medium, large, extra large. So this is adjustable to uh, just about any size, but it's marked as a medium there. And one more item is, oh, I think it's over here. Is it, is it, is it up here? Oh, right, all right, I found it. So another one of these counted cross stitch set. This one is called the castle. So you got a castle with a cool dragon around it. Uh, pick this up for, I think $3 at one of the uh, local thrift stores here and it sold for 40 bucks. Yeah, $39.99 plus shipping. So yeah, definitely don't overlook these cross stitch sets. And this one was actually opened, but uh, still all new in there. Desk is getting pretty full. We've got two items to go and one of them is in here. I just listed this the other day and I'm trying to think exactly where I put it. I believe it's this ticket right here. So this is a vintage basketball ticket, unused ticket from a game, New York Knicks versus the Los Angeles Lakers 1973. So yeah, really cool vintage unused ticket. This one went for $19.99 plus shipping. This was an item that I got from my guy. It gives me lots of sports collectibles and stuff. So wasn't a thrift find or anything like that. Right, last item's in here and it's some Stratomatic baseball cards. Yeah, these are a team set. Now it's not all of these. I got to find the right team. We're looking for the New York Giants. It's Hall of Famers, Philadelphia A's, Cubs, Tigers. Here it is, the New York Giants. We got Frankie Fritsch and a bunch of other guys in here. There are different 19 different player cards in here. This sold for $8.99 plus shipping. All right, so there's everything. That's $1,100 worth of sales right I'm there. really happy about that. Uh, so yeah, that's it for sales. Let's slide over and I will find out who won the drawing. Okay, that's it for all the sales. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching everything that uh, I sold. If there was anything that you had any questions about, put it down in the comments, whether it's about how I'm gonna ship an item, why I store things a certain way or anything. Put a comment down below and I'll be uh, happy to answer that. Now for the giveaway. We had, like I said, about a dozen, 15 different entries into the contest for how much did Mike spend at Goodwill last month. And just so you know, here is the grand total Goodwill, 578.14, if I'm reading it backwards correctly. Yes, 578.14. We had several guesses in the 500s, one in the 600, but the closest to all of it was Kathy Brusaw, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So Kathy, congratulations, you're the winner. Now you have a choice of what you want to get for your prize. Now there was a few different things. We got this Funko Pop Batman Joker kind of combo. We have a few different packs. We got, uh, you can pick Star Wars packs. There's three different action pack football packs or a set of Star Wars cards. We got this cool wide vision card set. So all you need to do is contact me through Instagram or email. You can find the information down in the description down below. Contact me, get me your mailing info, and I can get the item sent out to you. So congrats, uh, first time winner, Kathy. And I think that might be the first time you've ever guessed. So good job on your first try. All right, that's it for today. Obviously, I got a lot of work to do. I got to get this stuff all boxed up and shipped out into the post office and uh, UPS if anything's going over there. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you next time.